Hey, what's up guys? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and this is the Superbase V from Zendor. It's a modular plug and play power storage system that is designed for your home, camping, EV, and power outage. They're running a successful Kickstarter campaign with over $5 million pledged so far. Now Zendur reached out to send me a unit to check it out for myself because I am a person that loses power often at my house. And when that happens, you know, I do things like I run an old school generator that runs off gas, which with the current prices of gas, it's around $60 a day for me to run. It's also loud, it smells bad, and it's super dangerous as well to have near my house. One thing I find super attractive it has to be its modularity, allowing you to use it in so many different applications. One of the main key features that makes this one different is that it's using semi-solid state batteries. Now these are smaller and safer than traditional LFP batteries. Now we're talking 42% more energy per pound. So if this was like a traditional battery bank, it'd be 40% bigger compared to what we're seeing here with the Superbase 5. And then when I say modularity, you'll see what I mean in just a little bit, that it's a whole system and not just one product. The average house in America at max load uses 28.9 kilowatts per day. So you can scale this to power a whole house for over two days and you can charge an EV with it. We do need to talk about specs. Now I'm gonna throw out a lot of wattages and numbers because those are very important, but if you don't know what those mean, I will talk you through those, so bear with me here. Now, first things first, this thing is pretty big. It's the size of a large suitcase, but it's also heavy as well. Now, thankfully, there are powered wheels allowing you to wheel it where you need to and it sort of assist you when you're doing it. Also within the app, you can set it to follow you, which is a really useful feature. So if you walk around, this thing will follow you for the most part. The Superbase 5 is 6,400 watt hours and it has tons of different outputs. Two USB-A, two PD USB-C 100 watts, two USB-C 20 watt, 120 NEMA 30 amp, which I use to charge my EV, and then we have five additional standard 120 20 amp plugs. On the side, we have additional ports that you may not use often, Anderson output, a car output, and also DC 5521, and they're tucked away under this flap. Then on the back, we have the AC charging input, overload switches, AC charging speed switch, and a battery port with TX90 inputs. So many different inputs and outputs, I don't know what they all do, but if you have something that would use something like this, yeah, it's good to have it. I will never be a person who don't like a lot of ports. The display is awesome. It shows you everything you need at a glance, and you can see what's charging, how much power is being used, if there's a firmware update. I mean, everything you need is on this display. It's also readable from a distance, which I found very helpful when running a lot of things off of it. I just kind of wanted to see as I plugged things in to see how it affected it. I didn't need to run to it to look at it. So yeah, there's a lot of ways to charge the Superbase 5 and a lot of ways to power the Superbase 5. So to charge up the Superbase 5, it can charge up to 3,600 watts of power. It can also charge via solar input. One of the unique things you can do is take it to a charging station and you can charge it from a station too. It comes with the adapter to do this, so you can plug it in on a road trip and then you'll have tons of battery to last the rest of the trip. Or you can use it as an EV charger if you're not near a charger. Now, my buddy John Rettinger made a joke and said this is like an electric gas can. And it is. With the Superbase V and the satellite battery, I can get around 33 miles of range on a single charge, which is definitely enough to get me to a supercharger if I need to. You can even combine solar charging with this level two charging for 6.6 .6 kilowatts of charging in just one hour. That is crazy. Now, another reason the Superbase 5 is doing so well on Kickstarter is because it's the first battery generator that can power 120 and 240 volts at the same time in your house. So your fridge, coffee maker, oven, all at the same time can be getting charged. Now, this system can be configured up to 7,600 watt AC output, but that is a configuration that you'd have to get that is not like out of the box. Now there is an option to connect the Superbase 5 to your home panel, and this connection comes with two level two EV chargers. And this also allows you to charge the Superbase from your home grid. So if power drops, you'll still be running with zero downtime, including your cars. You can always disconnect this, and then you have an amazing power source wherever you take it to. 
So that is really, really nice. It does have built-in UPS support, so you can plug in the super base into a wall and plug in other items into it. So if the power is lost, the unit will then kick on to battery and you won't lose any power to your devices at all. I've done this with the smaller Superbase 1500 with my gaming PC and monitor and it worked great in all of my testing. This would be great to use if you're in a garage using a power tool and those can draw a lot of power and those consistently kicks the breaker. This will allow you to use the power tool even if the breaker is kicked so you'll be good to go. Or even if you're camping and the plugs are limited, that would work great too. You can you know, utilize that plug, but if it's too much power, just use the battery and it makes that decision for you. For me, I had a chance to do a demo power outage. Unfortunately, I, I have not been able to connect the super base to my home panel due to the limited time that I have, but I do want to make that setup happen. But let's say I did lose power and we need some essentials in the house. We're talking lamps, fridge, my oven, internet and TV. At max load, I had an additional 24 hours of battery, but if I added on that satellite battery, that number would have gone up. Now that's max load, so imagine if I only used a couple things or at night when I have everything turned off. So that 24 hours can easily turn into three days of battery just with the Superbase V. So in this market right now, for off-grid power, the entry point is definitely an investment. This is something you'll purchase in mind, thinking this is something you'll use for around 10 years or longer. You know, the Superbase 5 is under $3,000 on Kickstarter, which is 43% off of MSRP. Now this will include the Superbase and some additional cables too, but if you want this to be a whole home setup, you need to get the configuration that makes the best sense for you. So as you can see on top of my super base, I have one additional satellite battery that gives more umph to your super base, giving it even more power. You can stack up to eight of them onto one super base, which will then give you that extra power that you may need. If you already have solar, then obviously you could plug this right into your super base or you can just plug it right into your home grid. So there's so many different ways you can use the super base and so many applications it can be used. That's why it's modular and that's why so many people are kick picking one up. Anyways, if you're interested in checking one out, make sure the link's down below, give it a click, look around, see if it's a package for you that you want, but anyways, that's all I have for you today. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you folks later. Peace.